Hello everyone and welcome to the Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. There are really only two ways to live our lives. In the unerring certainty that there is a God, or in the belief that there isn't. While those who believe in God vastly outnumber those who choose to believe there is no God, most people on each side do share one thing in common. Most, and I mean most, the vast majority on each side, are hypocrites. And not just your run-of-the-mill hypocrites. Since we're talking about the existence or non-existence of a supreme being, the level of hypocrisy is raised to the supreme. If people who worship God really believed in him, the world would be a different place than what it currently is. And since self-professed Christians are by far and away the largest religion on the planet, the planet should look a lot different than it does. But the same is true for the atheist crowd. If they really believe there is no God, then they should be living lives entirely differently than they currently do. If there is no God after all, the whole reason for ethics and any moral code simply has no basis other than self-interest. You are good to others only in so far as that suits yourself, your own ends, not because a God commands you to be good. With the exception of fear of getting caught, why would an atheist not rob banks or murder willy-nilly? After all, the greatest lights in the Atheist Hall of Fame figured it out long ago. So, what we have between these two camps is sort of a strange concordat, where each side lives their lives according to a vague self-interpretation of their own vague set of standards or codes, the great land of compromise. But the compromise is not with each other, on each other's side, but with their own understandings of the truth. Christians do not live their lives as though Christ is God, and atheists do not live their lives as though God is a fairy tale. What we have in the end is a world full of extreme hypocrites, content to live lives of quiet politeness. If God exists, this is not the world he desires. If he does not exist, this cannot be the world the atheist would prefer to inhabit. But God does exist. So in the end, which side is the most disingenuous? For Catholics, who are the largest group among Christians, this is even more of an issue because of what we know and what we have been given. It was to no other group besides us that God himself said, you are the salt of the earth, but what if the salt loses its flavor? It is good for nothing else other than to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. We, each, every Catholic, each one of us, needs to ask himself this question and reflect on it deeply. How seriously do we believe? God bless you. I'm Michael Voris. Please help us keep delivering these kinds of messages that so desperately need to be heard and acted on. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber, become immersed in the faith established by Jesus Christ. The Catholic Church is the only hope against evil because that is its God-given mission. As our Lord said, apart from me, you can do nothing. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber and come to learn and love Christ more deeply.